Happy Veterans Day to our veterans who have served or are continuing to serve. Thank you for protecting our country. I'm meteorologist Chandler Jordan out of our first alert weather center. We have got some showers that have built in throughout the night. You can see out from our downtown tower camera the low lying clouds as well as the occasional showers. And for some of us, you might even have a little bit of fog to deal with at times, at least for the next couple of hours. And you can see all across the Midlands where we're dealing with rain. And even if you don't have any active rain right now, still cloudy skies, temperatures that are in the upper 40s as well as the low 50s. Quite a bit of moisture for us to work through. You can see though this rainfall isn't very torrential or very heavy, just some lighter shades of green at times, occasionally having some darker shades of green on first alert satellite and radar, but still we're not talking about substantial torrential downpours until we get closer to the yellows, oranges, and especially when we get the red. So that's some good news, but still enough rain. You'll definitely notice it if you're spending time outside. And we've still got to work through all of this moisture throughout portions of central and northern Georgia. So all of this rain near Athens, Atlanta, this is all headed towards us and it's going to hang with us as we head through the rest of this morning and into this afternoon. Big game for Carolina. They're playing Vanderbilt at 12 o'clock. If you're headed out there to tailgate, we'll have some showers around before the game, even at kickoff at 12 o'clock today. We'll have some light rain around and that's going to hang with us even through the second half and into the fourth quarter. A couple of showers are still going to be lingering throughout the Midlands for us. So any type of outdoor plans that you were hoping to get to today dry. Unfortunately, you're probably going to have to deal with rain for them. So make sure you have some rain gear handy and some extra layers to help you stay warm as we deal with these showers. Noticing how we got the light rain out there on first alert future cast and we continue to deal with light rain across the Midlands as we head through the rest of the morning and even into this afternoon some showers sticking with us for the first half of the weekend. Activity does decrease just a little bit once we get into the second half of the day, but for some of us we're still dealing with rain by five, six, and seven o'clock this evening, even into the night tonight. A couple of showers are still going to be possible as we're heading to bed. And even as we wake up tomorrow morning, some of us are going to have some rain to deal with out there as we kick off our Sunday. I think first alert future cast is a little underdone for tomorrow morning's rain. I still think many of us have showers to start the day. But the good news is that once we get closer to lunchtime and your Sunday afternoon, we start to get this moisture to move into the PD with it. Cloud cover starts to get eaten away and we'll start to get a little bit of sunshine to break through our cloud cover tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening as we push all of this moisture into the Atlantic Ocean. And thankfully, as we get rid of this moisture as well as this cloud cover, it does allow for us to have a nice start to next week. So unfortunately, our weekend plans fill with rain. However, we need the rain desperately, so it's good that we're getting some showers throughout this weekend. Your Monday and Tuesday look pretty nice mid 60s with just a few clouds out there. We're tracking another round of showers next Wednesday and Thursday. Those will continue across the Midlands as we head into the end of the work week. And then once we get into next weekend, not looking so bad, high temperatures back into the low 70s. Don't go anywhere. We've got more news for you and weather coming up after the break.